Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. In a response, Brooks says her office is busy conducting another audit requested by Lee, a review of Gita's qualifying certificate program. Brooks saying the OPA doesn't have the resources or manpower to conduct another request from the senator this time. In a series of investigative reports by KUAM of News, it was determined that land management employees and their immediate family members received lots in the coveted Barragata Heights area, considered by many to be some of the most valuable parcels of land in the CLTC inventory. Land management director Mike Borja also signing off on a lot for his sister who lives off island. Senator Lee also received a lot. She says the lot was passed on to her from her mother. Interesting to note, Senator Lee staffer Tina Alecto's brother and sister also received lots in the area. This, while the awarding of these lots has led to public outcry and questions about whether or not proper procedures and protocols were followed as thousands have waited over 20 years for Chamorro Land Trust land. In the meantime, Brooks is asking Lee to provide, quote, additional information related to what prompted the request for review of CLTC leases in the Barragata Heights area. DPW, at the request of CLTC, had begun clearing an access road to the area without proper permits from EPA and has since ceased operating in the area. In response to the appearance of impropriety, the senator fired off letters to the AG and OPA requesting a, quote, full review to ensure strict adherence to Guam law was followed in the awarding of leases in Barragata. AG's office spokesperson Carlina Charferis confirms the AG's office has received a letter from Senator Lee. Senator Frank Ogan Jr. also asking Land Committee Chair Senator Tom Atta to conduct an oversight hearing on the issue. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.